Yo, so before we get into the video, I am pleased to announce that this will be my 10th YouTube video. Nothing? Well, guess I got a lot of more work to do. Just play the intro. What up, though, is Rasta White. Happy New Year. Thank God. Praise him for another new year, new year of opportunity, new year to explore, new year to learn, and all that good stuff. In this video today, I really want to talk to y'all about the one reason I believe I fail so much in life and why I believe a lot of people go throughout their life lost and confused because they don't really, they're not aware of this one thing, right? And it's funny because like it's 2024 and I I learned a lot of stuff last year. But my biggest lesson of my life has began this year. It has began this year. What I mean by that is last year I was, you know, all over the place. You know, this, this, that, that, how to better myself this way, how to better myself that way. Boom, 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 boom. And I heard flashes of this, this one thing that I'm about to talk about. I heard flashes of it, but I never really gave it much thought, okay? I kept feeding into the illusion that without addressing this situation, that I can just have the success I want in life. Okay. And y'all probably like, get to the point, bro. <laughs> okay. That one thing is you got to learn how to be in covenant with things, not committed. Covenant, not committed. And I heard the word commitment a lot last year, and I heard the word covenant a lot last year. And I remember just thinking it was the same thing, you know? You probably think like, oh yeah, it's the same thing. You know, you when you're committed to something, that means you just, you stick with it no matter what. When you're co in covenant with something, you stick with it no matter what, right? And last year, I recently got back into church with my family. I recently started making new commitments to things, like I'm going to be a good church member. We, I got married a little over a year ago. I'm going to be a great husband. I got My daughter was born last year. I'm going to be a great father, right? I'm going to be committed to them. But I'm learning the hard way. And I say the hard way to say, as 2024 opened up, I'm thinking, okay, I got everything figured out. I got my YouTube channel going. I got all this stuff going for me. And all I need to do is stay committed, right? But I was wrong. I was wrong. Committed, commitment is the step before covenant. Let me break it down for you real quick. From what I've been learning, right? Commitment is sticking with something and Staying consistent at it until you get pissed off, <laughs> until you get irritated, until you get overwhelmed. That's what commitment is. You sticking with it. You're doing it constantly. And I look back, it's like, oh, yeah, you know, I was committed to a lot of things last year. You know, I was committed to being there for my wife. I was committed to being there for my daughter. I was committed to working out consistently, sticking to my workout routine. But every time a disruption happened, I stopped. I took a break, right? And I'm not saying you should never have to take a break or step back, step back from things. But my stepping back was nowhere, not much different from giving up. What I mean by that? If you committed to working out three times a week, right? And you just, you consistent, right? You're committed. And then you get pissed off. And then you like, you know what? I usually work out three times this week. This week, I'm going to just do two or I'm going to just do one. You just broke your commitment, right? And covenant, it's a whole nother ball game. Now, we're talking about working out. Yes, there are things that can happen that can make you incapable of working out. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about when you, when you get in your feelings like me. When you get in your feelings and you're unmotivated and you think you can just step back and not do nothing. But I'm learning as we get older, the more success you want to have, the more you want to be responsible, 
you cannot stop things just because you're not feeling good or just because you don't feel like doing it, right? And listen, I'm speaking specifically from my experience last year of learning this because when I look throughout my life, everything I failed in, I noticed it's because once I was committed to it, because I look and be like, I gave it three months. I gave it six good months. So it ain't like I wasn't committed. I was committed until I got too overwhelmed. And then I gave up until I got pissed off. And then I stopped. You know, you get pissed off at the person that you work with. And then you like, well, we just got into it. So normally we do this in the morning, but tomorrow morning we're not doing it. Like we we not cool right now, right? And I always been that type of person. Like I've been the type of person once I'm mad at you or once we get into it, it's like I need space, I need time, I need distance, right? But when you have people relying on you, when you have not even just people, when you have a business, when you have things that rely on your covenant that rely on you to be in covenant with it, no matter what, right? No matter what, not just your commitment. Your commitment is cool. Your commitment is you showing up every day when things are going good. That's your commitment. Your commitment is you have your end goal and you like, I'm the reason I'm doing this every day is because of my end goal. That's just commitment. But covenant is a sacred commitment. It's a God binding commitment. It's a, you gotta be willing to die before you leave this type of commitment. And the more I learn it, the more I look at it as like, I got to get in touch with that part of me that makes me run, that makes me retreat, that makes me not want to stay in covenant, that makes me not want to honor my covenants, that makes me stay committed until I get mad, right? If you're listening to this, if you're watching this, just look back in your life and really think about it. It's easy to play the victim and blame whoever was in that situation. Or it could be a relationship. It could be a business, business partnership. It can be anything. It's so easy to blame others and really not take ownership or accountability. But when you really break it all down, what really stops us from being in covenant? And I can tell you what stops me. Personal issues egotistical issues, okay? It's easy to get so caught up in your ego, right? You're doing everything right. You've been going to the gym for six months. You've been reading every day for six months. You've been reading the Bible every day for six months. You've been showing up to work every day for six months. You haven't took a day off, right? What that does is you start to count everything you're doing subconsciously or unconsciously. And then you don't think that you have any flaws no more. Or you think that, the stuff that you didn't have to, the stuff that you didn't face, like those personal issues that have been causing you to fail, that has been causing you to retreat or whatever it is, whatever your personal issues is, you can fall into the illusion that they went away, but they don't if you do not face them. So if you're watching this video, if you're somebody who really want to better yourself, I can say this one thing and I'm so, I'm man, I'm geek. You know, how, how Eric Thomas say, like, I'm geek, like, I feel blessed that I'm learning this now. I'm learning this at 26. I'll be 27 in a couple months. I'm learning this early on in my life. I feel like this might be a lesson most of us learn too late because we we just get caught up in our ego again. We think we know everything. I thought I knew. I've been thinking I know everything. Okay. I'll give you all a real quick story. Me and my wife got into a big fight. Okay. A few days ago. And. Literally, the pastor of our church came by in the middle of the argument, right, to try to defuse and to try to pretty much help us because it was just know it was bad. OK. I was on defense mode. I'm talking about I wasn't trying to hear nothing he had to say. I wasn't trying to anything that I needed. Like He told me so much stuff I needed to hear that I did not want to hear. I had a response for everything. I was so defensive in front of my wife. So, you know, another guy giving you advice or criticizing you in front of somebody that like your wife, you're going to automatically be like, what the, you know, get defensive. But I noticed. And then after that, let's just, we, we go on long story short. The conversation didn't end well. It ended with me standing on my ground with me holding on to my egotistical wants and my egotistical needs and just being like, I know what I'm talking about. I ain't trying to hear nothing you talking about. Right. So now what? Now me and my wife is not on good terms. Now me and my pastor is not on good terms. And these are people that 
I made up in my mind that I want to have a covenant with. I want to, this is the church I want to go to. This is the pastor that baptized my daughter, right? This is the wife that I love. This is the wife that I agree to live the rest of my life with. Things are not going good. Why? Because I got pissed off. I was committed to the church. I was committed to my marriage until I got pissed off, right? And blew up, started going crazy, been counting everything I've been doing. You know, I've been a great husband. I've been a great father. Why is this not happening? Why is that not happening? Why my YouTube channel ain't got a thousand subscribers? By the way, make sure you subscribe to this channel and like the video if you're still here, okay? But I just started to really, and I got like that. I'm so glad it happened at the top of 2024. I mean, I came into this year thinking I'm about to kill this year. I know everything. We be thinking we know everything, right? I still read books. I still read the Bible, but I'm like, I'm good. I got this. I couldn't have been no more wrong than I already am. I found myself not living up to the to the standards I set for myself, not living up to God's standard, not living up to the stuff I preach, not living up to the stuff I've been saying. I'm not a real preacher, but the stuff I say online and things of that nature. And I realized, like, no, this has to stop. And I'm in the video with this to make it more about y'all not about me. Right. If you got personal issues, you got to face those. I thought I didn't have no personal issues. I kept falling to illusion that they just went away. And they didn't know I have commitment issues. I have issues with. So, like I said, commitment is just sticking to something. But once I get mad or whatever, I want to just. Withdraw. I'm gone. I want to be done. Like, nope. You know, and that that's linked to perfectionism. I have a natural I'm a little OCD perfectionist. Try to control everything, try to analyze everything. Those are things that my pastor was pointing out and I didn't want to hear. But it's the truth. Trying to control everything instead of just giving it to God, instead of allowing God to lead me, instead of allowing God to order my steps and casting all my cares on to him. I've been trying to take control of everything, having my fingerprints on everything that's going on in my life. But like I said, I'm geek. I'm geek because now that I'm aware of this, 2024, I really got to face my personal issues. And I think that's the number one reason most people don't become successful is because when you start something, and what I mean by successful is in any area of your life, your marriage, your business, your job, finishing school, when you start something and you have a neck to retreat as soon as you get pissed off, you're not honoring your covenant. You're committed, but you're not in covenant. This one thing right here, you got personal issues, whatever they are. It could be like mom, my personal issues, commitment issues, egotistical when I think I know everything and stuff like that. And I'm, I'm going to work on that this year. I'm not perfect. You're not perfect. Listen to this. So don't feel bad. Just observe what I'm saying. If you're here to this part of the video, then. First of all, I appreciate you. Secondly, this is something you should definitely take in and really think about. Covenant. Covenant. It's a sacred commitment, meaning you can't get out of it. So whatever personal issues you got, you might be on your fifth relationship. You might be at your seventh job and you think God ain't blessing you. He blessing you. But those issues, soon as this is what I've been doing. I start something new, and as time go by, the truth of who you are starts to come out. Your issues will reveal themselves eventually with time. As soon as they start revealing themselves, I run, and I go create a new relationship with somebody else and just pretend like those issues are gone. Uh, What, what people say, oh, this is not the right situation for me. This ain't the right church for me. This ain't the right job for me. This ain't the right partner for me. When a lot of times we are the problem. We don't want to face our personal issues. And I made this video, you know, it, it's so funny because when I'm usually in the state where I'm ready to give up or like how I got pissed off a few days ago, I would have stepped back for a few weeks. I probably would have not posted no more videos. I probably would have, I don't know, left the left, left home, like just left. I was, you know, we was at that point where I was considering leaving, right? I probably would have just left and just been out the way. And then guess what? Find my way right back. But with damage done, with lost time, now I got to repair this unnecessary damage. When in reality, if I just would have honored my covenant, took a step back and breathe, you know, 
I'm not saying you're not going to feel your emotions. You're not going to get overwhelmed. It's going to happen, but that's where everything in life, anything you're doing in life, I don't care what job you have. I don't care what degree you're working on. I don't care what business you're in. There's going to be overwhelm. You're going to get tired. You're going to get burnt out. And all that matters is that you do not stop completely and give up and retreat. You got to honor your cover. I'm speaking it right to put the pressure on myself because this is something I got to learn to live. I got to learn to believe. I got to learn. I got to get in my soul and I got to walk God's way. With my sacred covenants that God has blessed me with, I'm a this year. This year's focus is facing those personal issues, confronting them. I still got a lot to get out of me. I still got a lot of a lot in there, but this time was a big lesson for me. I got mad. I was ready to give up on pretty much everything, but instead of withdrawing, I leaned in. Instead of withdrawing. I posted another video the next day. Instead of withdrawing, I posted more stuff that I want to live by. Instead of withdrawing, I had a conversation with my wife. Instead of withdrawing, I called my pastor to make peace and, hey, I'll see you at church on Sunday. So it won't happen overnight. Don't fall into that illusion. I know it won't happen for me overnight, but make that. If you're listening to this, that's probably what you need to do. Face your personal issues this year. New year, new lessons. I'll see y'all next time. Ross the White out.